You know it's for real when it goes quiet like that. This is the mountain's peak. Hey, Zapdos, where are you? We came to rescue Shiftree. Show yourself. Ah! <laughs> I'm a spooked. Oh boy. I warned you. I have no mercy for meddlers. Not scared. You don't frighten me. <laughs> Look at Psyduck, dude. What? <laughs> Slim is pissed. Hey, Zapdos, let Shiftry go. A Pokemon rescue team. That's what we are. You must be determined to utter such words. Then you shall answer to my great and righteous fury. That cry, though, it sounds so like real. It's, it's like an actual eagle out here. Okay, so formation, boys. Stantler, you got to get in the front, dog. I, I know it's it's not very uh, duckly of me to let stand in the back, I guess, but this is the best strategy. Trust me. We got to We got to just let Stantler. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, Stantler took the hit. Just one hit. I'm going to swap to Trico, though. Can we even hit this thing from here? Well, Stantler took one hit and then just died instantly. Uh, okay, there we go. So now Slim is going to be attacking from the back. Uh, I think Elon can actually tank pretty well, though. Oh, smooch him, too. Okay. Wow, our team is just handling the business right now, dog. Like, we're not even doing anything at all. Um, I guess I can Dragon Breath? Even though we don't have to stand that close to hit it. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. I don't know why I actually moved. I could have used uh, Dragon Breath from the position I was in earlier. But, yo, smooch him with the freeze there. That's exactly what we needed. Mega Drain, let's go! I don't think that does as much damage as the Dragon Breath did, though, but... Hey, we hit it twice! That's good. Oh no, the Water Pulse missed! I wonder how much HP... Oh my god! Yo, wait, what the heck? Elon! Where did he pull that rollout out of? Or was that not Elon? Dude, we just destroyed him! What the heck? Dunsparce, the savior! I thought that was Elon for a second, but... Uh, apparently Dunsparce pulled the rollout out of nowhere and just absolutely destroyed the Zapdos there. What's going on? We we already did it. We did your job, Alakazam. That's what's going on, dude. We didn't see that coming at all. Woo. You want more? I'll take you on. Yeah, let's go, Fuego. Oh, I want a Charizard so bad. Enough. That's enough fighting. I've calmed down. Take Shiftry back. Wow, he just gives up like that? Come on, Zapdos. You can't... After all of that, you, you can't You can't just do that, dog. Come on. You kids impressed me. But things won't be this easy next time. I will go all out next time, so you'd best be prepared. Until then, you'd better hone your skills. What do you mean next time? What? So that's not the last time we're gonna... What? Where did he come from? <laughs> There's Shiftry, yeah! Just phased back into existence out of nowhere. Are you okay? Jeez. <laughs> Bad timing, Charizard. Uh, uh, yeah. Somehow, I am. Glad you're safe. But that was an eye-opener. Driving off that Zapdos. I agree. You're awfully strong for a plain Psyduck. Hmm. I sensed it when we first met. Perhaps you aren't a Pokemon, are you? <gasps> He's on to us, boys. Wow, how can you tell? But you're right. Slim isn't a Pokemon. He's a human. What? A human? A yuck? Is that possible? Can something like that happen? He doesn't really know what happened either. He just woke up one morning here as a Pokemon, and doesn't remember a thing about being a human. Oh, that's right. Wombre said something in the square. He said Alakazam knows everything. Alakazam, do you know why Slim became a Pokemon? He does not. I can't determine that. Oh, I thought you would know. However, there is a way to unveil the truth. 
Oh, really? <laughs> Trico's eyes. Make your way to the Hill of the Ancients. There you will find a Pokemon that stares into the sun all day. A Pokemon who is said to see into the future. Zatu is his name. He should shed light on your puzzling friend. Okay, so we should go see Zatu. Slim, let's roll to the Hill of the Ancients. There's no time to lose. We'd better go back quick. Shift Tree, you too. Let's hurry back. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is that walk? Shift Tree's just like, okay. I'm a going. Slim! Don't just stand around. Let's go back. What is wrong with Psyduck, dude? Oh my... I can't, I can't handle Psyduck. It just like... Doesn't matter what situation he's in. How serious or how goofy. He's always got that blank expression. Alakazam, I know you. I don't think you're completely ignorant about this. You know something, don't you? There is something that concerns me. But it should go unspoken for now. For their sake. What does Alakazam know? Tell me, Alakazam! Spill the beans! Oh, I forgot we actually got some new Pokemon. <laughs> Look at Smoochum's face, too. That's like second best after Psyduck right there, but... Uh, looks like Smoochum can stay at Frigid Cavern. Heck yeah, dude. We, 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 we got Smoochum. I'm down. Kylie? Yo, I kind of like the name Kylie. Let, let's go for that one. Alright, we got another Stantler. Uh, don't know if I really need another one. Does it give us money? Okay, nice. At least we get some cash for it. Oh no, there's no camp for Dunsparce or Zubat. So I guess we just get cash. Morning, Slim. I did a little checking around yesterday. The Hill of the Ancients is in the Great Canyon. Not to be confused with the Grand Canyon, of course. What's up with you? I don't know, man. Slim's been pretty pensive lately. Listen. Huh? What's that? Why are you so fired up? Why? What? You need to ask? Your hard work doesn't even benefit you or... Damn, that's pretty ruthless, man. I don't... What's wrong with you, Slim? I, I wouldn't say that. You work so hard for others. For others? Now that's cold. You and me, we're Tomodachi. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. This Trico looked at me kind of weird and... Ever since then, he's just been following me around. I, I never thought we were actually friends, but apparently that's that's what he thinks. So anyway, let's give it our best as usual. Yeah! Friends till the end. Uh, we're going to move on to the next major mission, which is the Great Canyon. Now open for exploration. We have so many side quests, dude. Okay, I definitely got to get to these, but... Uh, I'll probably do them off stream. Um, so let's just go do the, the main one right now. Gotta go meet up with our boy Zatu. This is the Great Canyon. The peak is called the Hill of the Ancients. Alakazam said that the Hill of the Ancients is on 13F. Jesus! That's where we'll find Zatu. Slim, let's give it our best. I'm like over exaggerating, but the last one was also. 13 floors basically, so yeah, I, I definitely shouldn't be that surprised that it's 13 floors. But still, it seems like a lot when you just, like, hear the number first glance, you know? Anyway, we got level 20! Let's go, Slim! Oh yeah, the LCS got cancelled too, dude. I saw that today. I'm, a, I'm like, low-key depressed, man, because that's like what I look forward to watching every weekend is... LCS and LEC and there there was no stream today, man. I was uh, I don't know. How am I gonna get through it, man? Where's my weekend entertainment? I mean, I hope that the vaccine has been made though. Like, I don't really know much about medicine, but I guess from a outsider perspective, I wonder how hard it is to find one. Because at this point it's been around for like months in China, right? So you'd think that they would have figured something out by now but I don't really know how medicine works at all so I don't know I just hope that it doesn't like my main worry is not really getting the virus itself but rather how long things will be like closed for because if like grocery stores and stuff don't stock up then that could lead to a whole bunch of other like problems I guess or like 
I don't know. I just feel like Americans are going to over... We're already overhyping it. Or not overhyping it, but... Making it a bigger deal than I think it is. And if grocery stores aren't open for more than a month, dude... People are going to start losing it. They're going to go wild. They're going to riot. There's going to be bloodshed on the streets. People need food, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, grocery stores right now are like the shelves. Everything's flying off the shelves, man. I don't get the toilet paper, though. Like, I get the hand soap and cleaning products and all that. But uh, toilet paper, I'm not... Like, I'm not, sh I'm not understanding why toilet paper is completely out. Like, are people using toilet paper to wash their hands with? I, I don't, I'm confused. Might as well buy some ethers, though. Those are always good to have. Man, no sleep seed. We're not stealing from Kecleon. Never again. Oh, no, no, no. No, I messed up. I messed up. Okay, no, no. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Let, let me, let me pay for it. Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. We almost made the mistake of a lifetime again. Uh, that would have been so bad. But yeah, dude, everything. At like, I think every gathering of people over 250 people is canceled right now for the foreseeable future. But how long that foreseeable future will be is what kind of worries me. Like, yeah, we don't really know how long everything's going to be canceled for. I got to get out eventually, man. You know, I, I, I'm I perfectly fine with sitting at home for hours on end. But if I don't leave the house for over a week, I start getting a little, a little woozy, a little crazy. Cabin fever, some call it. Oh, <laughs> Murkrow just slammed right into that wall. Okay. There are shinies in this game as well. You can encounter them from the... Oh, gosh, we got paralyzed. Oh, yo, but Breloom wants to join. Let's go, dude. Breloom's actually a really strong Pokemon, so that's, that's awesome. Uh, but you can get shinies, I think, from the, the like, rare or strong monster encounters. Like, whenever you go into a dungeon, it tells you there's, like, a stronger encounter. And those can be shiny. And they're hard to recruit, as M the Beast just said. For real, man. I feel like the Corona... It, it's a terrible situation... But I am glad that everyone is getting a break from everything. And that means people will be able to watch more content and more streams. But I, I sure hope no one gets it. <laughs> it's like a tricky situation, you know, because like I'm not happy that it's happening, obviously. But at the same time, I feel like a lot of people are glad to get some time off, especially gamers, because we stay indoors all the time anyway, so... I don't think it's as bad. Like, imagine being a person, though, that's like... I don't know, I guess more of a social butterfly where you're used to going out all the time. Like, I feel like you get that cabin fever real quick. Oh, dude, Breloom is destroying right now. Let's go. So what's up with these orbs? What do we got? Nullify? Eh. Eye drop? What? Enables you to see traps. I don't that doesn't none of these sound that useful to be honest. Full hold orb. Yeah, I don't know, man. I guess this one's not bad. Petrify the enemies. Post game is longer than the main story. That sounds about right. I mean that's what you would hope for in a game. That's that's what I was hoping for with Sword and Shield, but obviously it didn't end up being that way. <laughs> But, I mean, it's taking me a while to get through the main story anyway, so I'm not really... I mean, like, I'm looking forward to the post-game, but I know it's not going to happen anytime soon, so... Oh, no! Not the Leech Seed! Yeah, get disabled, sucker! Yeah! There we go. Oh, dude, another one! What the heck? We got a second Breloom? Breloom Squad? Let's go. 2021 better be good. Heck yeah, dude. Let's, let's move on already. F this year. Let's go to 2021, boys. We're all going to be hooked up to that Steam VR, the Valve VR, or whatever it's called. Uh, like, have you guys ever seen Ready Player One? I feel like, no joke, that's like the future that we're heading towards eventually. We're all just going to be isolated in our homes, hooked up to some VR machine that's... Oh my gosh! Woo! If you eat apples at 100, it increases your stomach, but not permanently, right? 
If only it worked like that in real life. I mean, actually it does. If you overeat, you definitely your stomach expands. Trust me, I know all about that, guys. I've just recently started to get back to going into the gym. Like, I think we've been going uh, a week and a half now. So, oh my god, dude! Elon just got rocked! Come on! <laughs> that, whatever attack, is Bullet Seed, I think, is so strong from Heracross, dog. Just hits back to back to back. Smack to smack to smack. Get out of here. Or not. But guess what? You can't endure if it's disabled. Haha. <laughs> Wait a minute. It actually did endure anyway. That's not very nice. Oh my gosh. How are you still enduring? What the heck, Heracross? There we go. Finally. Jesus. What does the perfect apple do again? Oh my gosh. Not again. Come on, dude. Another tiny seed. Let's go. <laughs> this sucks, dude. This actually sucks. I know. The Brelooms are hilarious. We just got the Breloom gang following us around. Trico kind of fits in with them, but Psyduck? I don't know. Psyduck just seems so, like, out of place. No! Speaking of Psyduck, <laughs> we got put to sleep, dude. What's, uh, chat? Let's... Let's get a poll going real quick. Uh, what is your favorite starter in Sword and Shield? Evolutions included. Like, overall, with all three into consideration. The baby, the, the evolution, and the middle one. I still gotta go Grookey Gang. I don't know, I just... I like Grookey from the moment he was announced. Actually, that's not true. My favorite, when, it, when they were first announced, my favorite was Sobble. But, as the... I guess, you know, the games came out, and I got to experience them more. Grookey definitely became my favorite. Or not even, before the games came out. Like, right before Sword and Shield came out, Grookey was my favorite. But when, when the trailer first came out, it was Sobble. And now, having played the games, I think Grookey is my favorite still. Even though Cinderace, like, I like Cinderace. I like Rabu, actually, a lot. I think middle evolution, Rabu is my favorite, design-wise. Rabu actually has personality and, like, a design of his own. Same thing with, uh, Drizzile, having the little emo hair and everything. Out of the middle evolutions, Rabu is definitely my favorite, but... Oh, did we make it already? Let's go! We finally made it to the top! Yeah! So this is the Hill of the Ancients. Look! Over there! Hmm... <sighs> It's Zatu! Didn't they say he just stares into the sun all day? Like, what makes him think he's gonna even react? Excuse me, are you maybe Zatu? No reaction, of course. Hello? Nope. Maybe you gotta tickle him, dude. Hello? I'm telling you, he's, he's gonna tickle him, watch. Knowing Pokemon and their the way they write their games, that's what's gonna happen. Hello! <laughs> Still nothing. It's useless. He's not responding at all. Maybe he's sleeping while on his feet. Slim, what should we do? Oh my god, why? Why? <laughs> we could either tickle or attack him. Well, considering I I figured that, that tickle was going to be a thing, we got to attack him instead. What? We're going to attack! Yeah, all out attack. Let's go. Sucker punch. No! No way! I mean, he's kind of creepy. It'd be scary for sure. Oh, well, alright. You really want me to do this? Yes, do it! Let's go! If something happens to me, promise you'll help me. I'm counting on ya! Yeah, knock him right off the cliff. Let's go, Pure Leaf. Do it! Alright. Count down! Three, two, one! Go! <laughs> okay. Witness it, the sinking of the sun. So emo, indeed. I am Zatu. You discern my true identity. You are not an ordinary sort. Guess your identity, that's a bit much. No, I can tell this. You there, you are no ordinary Pokemon. You are human, yes. Huh? How can you tell that? All day, I stare at the sun, unblinkingly. It gives me sight of all things. 
the past and the future too. Then you've got to tell us, Zatu. This is my friend Slim. Oh wait, that was that was Trico reading that. Uh, my friend woke up one morning as a Pokemon without remembering anything from being human too. Zatu, you can tell, can't you? Can't you tell us? Please spill the secrets. Why am I a Pokemon? The calamities of nature. There have been many in recent times. They occur because the world's balance is upset, and you're becoming a Pokemon. They are tied together, inseparably so. Wait, Slim becoming a Pokemon and the natural disasters, they're related? What do you mean? What does Slim have to do with the natural disasters we've been seeing? What is it? Seriously, tell us! I. He's not gonna tell us, is he? I'm afraid the world's balanced is must be restored, or the unthinkable shall befall our world. What did you say? The world? The unthinkable's gonna happen. I mean, that's kind of already happening, dude. Zatu really did predict the future. He saw the corona, everything. The apocalypse, the world's destruction is coming, oh no. Ooh. Fix your posture. Thank you. Kick it. Isn't that a surprise? That Slim was human. That's gonna be useful. This should be interesting. Kick it. Here we go again. Alright, so that's it. We still don't know why Slim is human, but I mean the world's destruction is coming, so that's more important, apparently. And we get dragon tail, dragon tail. It's Time for Dragon Tail, yeah! Also, Breloom. Oh, dang it. I wanted to nickname it, but hey, good thing we got two Brelooms, right? Right? Uh, or should we just make the other one give us money? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take the money. We need it. We need all the cash we can get. Morning, Slim. Let's keep doing our best. Actually, I need to ask you something. Remember what Zatu said yesterday? Does it bother ya? Yes, the destruction of the world? Yeah, it bothers me a little bit. He said there's a link between the world's balance being upset, and how you became a Pokemon, and how the upset balance is causing natural disasters. And worst of all, he said our world will be ruined if the balance isn't restored. I want to do something, but I don't really get it. Tell me, the world's balance, what is that? Slim, do you know? Uh, no? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess so. It'd be impossible to know. I don't have a clue what the world's balance is about. Honestly, I don't know what to do. I guess we'll just have to do what we can. One thing at a time. Yeah. Psyduck stare. I just, I can't, dude. One day at a time, Slim will save the world eventually. <laughs>